In recent years, many of the nation's local railways have seen a steady drop in passenger numbers as the population continues to decline and more people opt to drive. As a result, once busy stations have become quiet. The number of unstaffed stations with no staff present throughout the day was 4,564, about half of all stations in Japan as of March 2020. In response, collaborations with cafes, stores, and public facilities have begun to revitalize stations that have seen user numbers fall. In today's program, we take a look at the efforts being made to revive Japan's train stations. JR Kyushu, which operates railways in the Kyushu region, is moving toward unstaffed stations as a way to improve operational efficiency. While at the same time working with the local community to make better use of the station buildings, such as cafe and community space.駅の利用される方がこう少なくなっていきまして、こう地域にこう寂しさが見られているというところの、ま、課題解決の一つとして、JR九州の駅だったりか路線をこう賑わいをこう見せる企画をあの実施しているところでございます。Kizenhama Station is located in Kashima City in Saga Prefecture. In 2021, a Japanese sake bar opened with direct access to the station platform. The area around the station is known for brewing sake. The unstaffed station slash bar is now helping to revitalize the local community. It has also become a popular stop for passing tourist trains. The trains stop for around 50 minutes so that passengers can enjoy the local sake. Inside, there is a standing bar counter, as well as tables for sitting and drinking. Here you can enjoy a set menu with three different types of sake and appetizers. The bar, which is run by a local non-profit organization, is staffed by local residents. <音楽><音楽><音楽> The JR Misumi line runs along the coast in western Kumamoto Prefecture. One station building on the line is being utilized by local residents. This is Oda Station. Built in 1899, it is the oldest wooden station building in Kumamoto Prefecture and is a registered tangible cultural property of Japan. For the past 10 years, the station has been managed by the Oda Club, a non-profit organization. In addition to ticket sales and other services, the organization watches over the elementary school students who ride the train to and from school. In addition, the organization operates a cafe in the station building to promote the charm of the surrounding area. The cafe serves locally produced food with tableware also made locally.
Ms. Uramoto and her organization originally started with the intention of making a place for the local community, but now it also attracts many tourists. で、あの、JR Kyushu is also looking for public proposals to utilize unstaffed stations. The first such station is Futajima Station on the Chikuho Main Line in Fukuoka Prefecture. This station became unstaffed in 2017 with the introduction of automated ticket machines and ticket gates. Wanting to make use of the unused office space, JR Kyushu turned to the community, calling for business proposals. After some consideration, a local meat wholesaler was chosen to open a new store. Here, visitors can purchase locally produced vegetables and bento boxes, including specialty roast beef bentos. It's hoped that stores selling unique local products, like this one, will attract more visitors to the station. ま、this is JR East's Uchibo Line, which runs through Chiba, the prefecture next to Tokyo. On this line, which runs along the Pacific coast, one station has been revitalized in a way that's never been done before. This is Emi Station. Over the years, as motorization took over, user numbers dropped until the station eventually became unstaffed. However, in 2020, the station was integrated with the post office, a first for Japan. Two signs, one for the station and one for the post office, are posted at the entrance. Inside the building is a typical Japanese post office counter. The leftmost of the five counters is the JR counter. There you'll find an IC card charging machine and a checker at the entrance, as well as timetables and route maps on the walls. However, there are no JR staff. Instead, three post office employees operate the JR terminals, performing the duties of station staff, selling tickets, and providing information on train operations. Tokyo 
取り組んでいって多くの方にあの来ていただけるような駅にしていきたいなと思っております地域内外のネットワークをこう強くしていくということが大切だと考えており、MAQ 郵便局と同様の課題を抱えている地域の解決策として、今後、広まっていく可能性はあるのかなと感じています。Yes, it's really interesting to see how more and more unstaffed stations in Japan are being revived to support and entertain the local community. I especially like the sake bar.、Oh, that's nice, but、uh, I also like the cafe at Oda Station. Yeah, that one's wonderful.、Mm. And actually,、uh, there's a history of probably more than half a century of、uh, utilizing the unstaffed station spaces across Japan because there are so many of them. But、um, uh, we have seen, as in the video, some new ideas coming in, like、uh, the first ever collaboration of the post office with the railway company at Emi Station in Chiba Prefecture.、Mm-hmm. Um, another sight that was really heartwarming was Ms. Uramoto, how she saw the kids to school. That was sweet.、Mm. And one element in Ms. Uramoto's story that I was impressed at was that、uh, she didn't expect that、uh, their cafe would become the tourist destination. And that kind of unexpectedness, I think, will bring in new ideas which will become the hope for the local community there. Yes, let's look at more unique ideas how to bring the community to the stations. Yamagata Railway's Nagai Line is a third sector line that runs 30.5 kilometers through Yamagata Prefecture. This is Nagai Station in Nagai City. In May 2021, the city office was relocated here, creating Japan's first integrated city office and train station. Nagai City has a population of about 25,000. The Mogami River, one of Japan's most rapid rivers, flows to the east of the city center. The river was one of the main reasons the city office was relocated. Mogami Gawa Han Lan Shita Sai Ni Sai Dai De 1.5 meter ぐらい浸水する区域として市役所周辺も指定されましたので。災害時にその災害対応の拠点とならないというので別の場所に市役所を建てなければならない。The old Nagai Station building, a quaint wooden structure, was built in 1936. However, under vertical separation, the site of Yamagata Railway Station belonged to Nagai City. So it became the location for the new government office building. まあ、幼稚の関係上、えー、駅舎を残して、えー、残りのところに市役所を建てるというのは大変窮屈だったので、まあ、この際一緒の建物にしましょうというので改築になりました。The total cost of the project was approximately 5.4 billion yen. The long narrow structure extends approximately 170 meters along the railway tracks. Yamagata Railway's headquarters is located on the first and second floors of the new city office building. This is the concourse that accesses the platform. By the entrance is the station counter and ticket machine. Tables and chairs have been placed here for public convenience, including those people waiting for the train. I've been here for a long time, and I've been here for a long time. I've been here for a long time, and I've been here for a long time. I've been here for a long time, and I've been here for a long time. I've been here for a long time. とっても便利です。高校生がですね、待合室で勉強しているという姿を見かけるようになりました
あの列車に乗らない人も友達と一緒に勉強してるっていうのが見られるようになりまして、えー、常にあの駅にあの人がいるような環境になったなと思っております。Heisei Chikuhon Railway's Tagawa Line runs through Fukuoka Prefecture in the Kyushu region. Along the 26.3 kilometer line, there is an unstaffed station that's currently attracting a lot of attention Yusubaru Station. The retro atmosphere of the Yusubaru Station building. Practically unchanged since it opened in 1895, is popular among rail fans and has been used as a location for movies. However, the station building had deteriorated, so in 2022, Heisei Chikuhon Railway, in cooperation with the Nishi Nippon Institute of Technology and the local Akamura Village, Renovated the station building, restoring it to look closer to how it did back when it first opened. The design was overseen by Professor Ishigaki of the Nishi Nippon Institute of Technology's Department of Architecture. まあ、この窓も、えー、内観写真は残ってなかったんですけども、外の写真を確認したら、昔は上げ下げ窓だったっていうことがまあ確認写真から確認できたので、えー、アルミサッシをこのような上げ下げの形式に、えー、変更しています。この窓枠なんかは昔のままですね。In addition, a train tablet apparatus, a device used to prevent trains from colliding on a single track, was installed to make it more closely resemble an office from the former Japanese National Railways days. This device was actually used on this railway up until 1991. The company is holding an event where visitors can use this device and feel what it was like to work as station staff back then. In addition, the station building was designed to serve as a research center for the Nishi Nippon Institute of Technology. It's the first time a university laboratory has been located in a station building in Japan. いうような装置をこの研究室内に、えっと、4箇所かオイルダンパーを設置しています。なので、あの、この建物建築自体はま、明治とされていますけども、ま、一応新しい技術ですね。ま、建物を少しでもこう長く使えればいいかなということで、電
無人駅なんだけど人がいるっていうことで「あの友人の無人駅」というような、まあ、言い方をしていてですねで、まあ、今さまさにそうなりつつあるのかなと思うのでやっぱりこう観光というよりは駅ってその地域の拠点だと思いますので、まあ、地域の方々がここに集まって何かできるようなですね It's really unique to have a university laboratory inside a station. I would love to study there sometime. I might have to teach there, you know. Oh, yes, right. <laughs> Now, the people are coming to the stations, but does the railway actually benefit from that? Definitely, I think. Well, one way to interpret the situation will be that、uh, there are many people gathering at the station, and then out of those people, some will become the potential customer of the railway company. So it's like good advertisement? Yes. And another way to interpret the situation will be that、uh, the railway is already an icon for the local community, but not enough people would use the railway. And that might be because、uh, people think that the railway is not convenient for them. But,、um, uh, but the fact that、uh, people flock at the railway station will mean that、uh, for those people, The railway station is now a place of convenience for them. And then people might change the perception towards the railway、uh, from what is inconvenient to what is convenient for them. And then they are more likely to take the train. Yes, certainly. Wonderful. Next up is Tourist Trains in Style, where we introduce exciting tourist trains from all across Japan. Fuji Sanoku Railway debuted their tourist train, Fuji San View Express, in 2016. Operating on Fuji Q Railway, it runs 26.6 kilometers between Otsuki Station and Kawaguchiko Station in Yamanashi Prefecture, the gateway to Mount Fuji. As the name suggests, the Fujisan View Express offers magnificent views of World Heritage listed Mount Fuji. They upgraded JR Central's express train car totally. The vermilion exterior is a nod to the car's original color back when it debuted in 1929. Car 1 of the three car train is a special reserve seat only car. The spacious wooden interior has a seating capacity of 26 passengers. Car 1 is also staffed by attendants. And Car 2, which is also a reserved seat only car, has different seat designs every two rows. Car 3, with its rows of basic blue seats, is a non reserved car. Kawaguchiko Station is the closest station to Mount Fuji on Fuji Q Railway, touted as the closest railway to Mount Fuji. Today, we are boarding Car 1 at Kawaguchiko Station, bound for Otsuki Station. About 10 minutes after leaving Kawaguchiko Station, the train arrives at Mount Fuji Station. Because the station is a dead end, the train makes a switchback. Car 1 now becomes the tail end of the train. Shortly after leaving the station, Mount Fuji can be seen from the rear of the train. 
This view can only be enjoyed from car one. In car one, an attendant is preparing a sweet scent. An original chocolate sweet in the shape of snow-covered Mount Fuji and eclairs made to resemble the form of the train have been prepared by a pastry chef from a hotel along the line. These sweets are only served to passengers of car one who reserve the sweets plan set in advance. The attendant lets the passengers know that the best view spot on the line is approaching. It's located about halfway between Kawaguchiko and Otsuki stations. The passengers enjoy the view of Mount Fuji. I read about it on the internet. I figured it would look like a really nice thing to try. Oh, it's wonderful. I mean, great views. I've never seen rice patties so close. Yeah. Well, well, you've done a great job. <laughs> It's perfect. About 50 minutes after leaving Kawaguchiko Station, Otsuki, the terminal station, approaches. This is the last view of Mount Fuji from the train. The Fujisan View Express trains make two round trips every day but the sweets plan is mainly only available on weekends and holidays. Oh, the sweets looked so cute. I love the idea of eating Mount Fuji themed sweets while looking at the real Mount Fuji and the wooden interior, it looked like a posh cafe. Yes, indeed. But not just the interior, but also the exterior is designed in such a way that the vermilion color of the car body is making a good contrast with the blue sky and the Mount Fuji in the background. Mm. Before the pandemic, Fuji Q Railway was very popular among inbound tourists, and it's now great to see that the tourists are coming back and they're taking the train. Yes, and I would like to see them enjoy Mount Fuji as well. Yeah, for sure.